today I want to do a revisit of the Adonic Jot Touch with Pixel Point. I did a review a few days ago and uh, whatever reason I really want this product to work. So I wanted to show you uh, some tips that I found to use it. I contacted both the creators of Good Notes and Note Shelf and oddly they both gave me two different stories. The Note Shelf guy said that Adonic is yet to push out the SDK that they need. To fix it and then the good notes guys said that they did and they've already implemented it and the good notes guys gave me a little tip to try and uh, it, it did help it's still not perfect but it is usable so I'll show you a demonstration of that now thanks so Mike here again and as I said I'm doing a revisit of the Adonit Jot Touch with Pixel Point um, I emailed like I said both of the major apps that work with this for note taking the primary one being good notes and he told me a little <clears throat> trick he told me that yes we did implement the SDK and what he told me is to go into your settings and for palm rejection you can either have the provider of good notes or you can have a donut he said try using good notes instead of a donut so that's what I did and that actually seemed to help a fair amount you can see a little writing I did earlier um, you know that's sad to say that's pr pretty much my handwriting but I'll show you and here in this view it seems to work okay but what I found is there's another way you can do this is within good notes and note shelf also has a similar um, application you can adjust this where you want but essentially uh, you write down here in the same spot and oops I accidentally hit the button that was me not the app and this seems to work better I'm standing behind the camera, so uh, my handwriting is extra sloppy, but this actually seems to work quite nice. But as you can see, I mean, if I were to sit down and take my time, I could probably make this more readable. But again, it's not perfect, and when you're outside of this view, in the normal view, it still seems to have connection issues and it seems to vary uh, from I may use this app one time and it's totally not working at all I use it another time and it works better and right now I've got two other things connected via Bluetooth and for whatever reason um, I have a Bluetooth mouse connected and a keyboard and it seems to help it and hold the connection better I don't know why but it's uh, working as advertised right now. So, I mean, I did an earlier review in um, which I said I wouldn't recommend this if you have an iPad Air 2. Um, I might have to change that. I mean, like I said, for me, it's not a perfect solution, but it seems to be working well enough. Um, I still don't think it's worth the $99 price tag, but um, it is working. So if you have an iPad Air 2, make sure you've got the latest updates. And again, for palm rejection, make sure you've got the First, um, the uh, multi-finger uh, stuff disabled in, within iOS, and also again within GoodNotes, make sure for palm rejection you select GoodNotes instead of Adonit, and you know you can actually use it. So as you can see, <clears throat> it's actually working quite nice. Um, I pretty much had the same results with Note Shelf, but um, for whatever reason, when I go in the zoom view view here with both apps uh, it seems to work better um, I actually prefer doing it that way anyways but anyways hopefully that helps so if you were thinking about buying this and you have an iPad Air 2 um, go ahead and give it a try I recommend you buy it from Amazon that way if you do open it you're allowed to return it if you buy it from Adonit directly and it's open they may not honor it uh, if you want to return it so give it a test drive through Amazon and hopefully it works out for you